out pink polos. I hurt the rock before Cam got the shit to pop. The doors is closed. I felt like bad boy street team. As you can see, I'm rocking this icy blonde look. This hair is brought to you by West Kiss Hair Company. So of course, I'm gonna show you what's inside the box, how I dyed and toned this unit, as well as a full install and styling tutorial. So if that's something you guys are interested in, then keep on watching. Bye. Lacey, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't, because we're going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So in this box, I received some eyelashes, a head wrap, an elastic band, a wig cap, a silk wig bag, and a bonnet. This unit is a 6, 13, 13 by 4, 22 inch at a whopping 250% density with adjustable straps and combs. So first things first is with warm water, warm to hot, we're going to get our purple conditioner or shampoo. I put like maybe three pumps in there and have like a nice light purple um, water. This is what the hair looks like before I tone it. You should do this with all your 613 hair before dyeing it just to get rid of the yellowness of it. Um, yeah, just let that in there for like five minutes and look at the difference. Like, super gorgeous. So this is the next day. I got my got to be glue gel. Um, I just put that all over the frontal. This is a great method if you do not want to dye the knots to this wig it makes your colored wigs look so natural so first things first or well second things first is we're going to take our titanium hair dye we're going to basically test out a strand before pouring it in the sink mind you this is considered boiling hot water because my apartment i don't know just has like really hot water I poured half the bottle and then I put the whole wig in there and let it soak for a couple minutes. I highly, highly suggest for the wig to come out even better than mine to pour the whole bottle. So see how I'm doing the other half of the bottle and turning that and like, you know, mixing it and stuff. As you can see, I'm pouring like or dipping the wig halfway. I would dip the whole wig in and let it sit for about five minutes and then going in with the second bottle of titanium which i did use two bottles of titanium this is the second bottle by the way as you can see this is what it looks like for the first bottle and then um now i'm gonna dip this halfway in i suggest dipping like majority of the hair in by the second step but not to confuse you guys this second bottle is where i am doing the transition to the ombre into the black. So here I'm taking my Kiss Jet Black and putting it into the same water, mixing that up and get the water all mixed together. And then here I'm dipping the ends. I let the ends sit for about five minutes. I would double up the time for what I'm saying so the hair can come out better than mine. But if you do like the results of what I did, Definitely just do the first step, like use one bottle um, and then use the second bottle for the transition color and then the black for the ends. I basically wash and condition and this is the next day. Here I'm plucking this unit. Y'all, when I tell you I plucked a lot of hair off of this unit and the hairline was still thick. So I suggest if you are considering getting this wig, do a lesser density because 250 is way too thick, especially for blonde hair. It has that very like wiggy look to it. And if you want something more natural and to lay flat, get like the 200% um, or 180% density. So here I am doing the ball cap method. Do the ball cap method every time you do a colored wig, just so it can look more natural and not too wiggy. But of course, um, I do the same old, same old install. So here I'm going to introduce you to another song because this song is like in my head, stuck in my head, and I know you guys will rock with it. So I'm gonna stop talking because I'm talking too much and let you play the song. Live 
enjoyed that music it was such a vibe so here i'm taking out my pen curls um i just love how this wig curled i loved how i was able to blend my baby hair is really good for it to be like you know a 613 wig because you know 613 wigs are like more of like a it gives it like a yakky to synthetic type of texture which i personally don't like but um i just love 613 hair just to have the freedom to dye it into different colors so yeah here i'm just combing out this hair is so thick y'all look at how i'm just struggling combing through this wig so i ended up getting my paddle brush and brushing that through and that was way better the curls are more softer i basically layered my bang a little bit and that is basically it Pink polos, I hurt the ride before Cam got the shit to pop. The doors is closed. I felt like bad boy street team.